Here they come off the fourth corner. Ernie Urban leads them down now. Is he going to win the Winston 500? Jimmy Spencer is second. They come through the trioval. Checkered is waving. Ernie Urban wins, and Rusty spins and gets airborne and flips wildly right at the start finish line. Very reminiscent of his accident at Daytona. Oh, oh man. That is too bad. What a way. Yeah, he's moving. I see him moving around in the car. I see, I, I saw that. We see this head moving around. Yes, we do. Now, here is what happened. Okay, there's Rusty and Dale Jarrett running side by side. Earnhardt comes down on the inside, trying to draft Rusty and go right out of the picture. And it looks, there he is. Earnhardt right up on the back bumper of Rusty, and he does touch him. That's and why around he goes. And that's one reason that Dale Earnhardt went down there. That's why he was so concerned, because he touched Rusty Wallace to start this situation, it looks like. And the car overturns about six or seven times, pirouetting on its nose, end over end, side over side, comes to a rest on its wheels between the start finish line and turn one. He will be credited with sixth finishing position. Here is another angle. Here they come down through there, Jared and Rusty Wall side by side. Dale trying to get down on the inside, trying to go down. It looks like he just touched Rusty and the car, just like Daytona, started flying. It goes up in the air. I thought maybe it was going to do like Jimmy Spencer did last year mm -hmm. and come back on its wheels, but it didn't. It caught. And here it goes again. There is a huge cheer going up from the grandstand just opposite of where Rusty's car has come to a rest, and we assume that the cheers are because he is out of the car, or at least they can see that he has received no serious injury.